Hey everybody, Tall Rider 75 here and uh, just received my latest modification for my Ninja 650. Thought I'd uh, make a video of uh, unboxing it and let's see what it is. Oh, look at that. It's a Scorpion exhaust. Which I got from Moto Stars in uh, Vancouver, Canada. As I'm in Ontario, I was actually pretty happy to uh, that this should be illegal. This stuff here, there's no reason for styrofoam popcorn anymore. Being in Canada, I was pretty happy to uh, find a place where I actually was able to get it on sale and uh, just pick up the damn popcorn. Um, yeah, I was able to find not only the exhaust, but uh, find it on sale. So I'll post a uh, link to uh, their site in the comments. So let's have a look. So as you know, um, for, for the 2012 and on Ninjas, um, there's no slip-ons. So this is a uh, full, full exhaust kit. Okay, here we go. It looks like everything's well packaged. A lot of uh, Scorpion branded stuff, so it looks uh, pretty professional. So there's uh, some mounts and your instructions. And the header pipes. You should have the silencer. It's pretty small. Now this uh, this exhaust kit apparently drops about like. Uh, 11 kilograms or something like that from uh, from stock. Yeah. And be here. Cutting this bubble wrap off. And there she is. Beautiful. Carbon fiber. Now the only thing is with my green bike, this red uh, ring here doesn't exactly fit the color scheme of my bike. So I'm going to see if I can't change the color of that. But um, maybe I'll use some engine enamel paint like I did on my brake calipers. Um, and uh, that'll be uh, enough to withstand the heat that'll be coming out of this thing but it's uh, it's very lightweight and uh, very nice looking so I'll uh, post uh, more when uh, I get it installed and um, I still haven't decided if I'm going to install it myself or not um, I'll take a look at the instructions see how comfortable I feel uh, doing that but um, in any case I'll uh, post more either the installation process or after it's installed